Okay, so this is Jürgen from Shining. Welcome to the second part of uh, my uh, videos on creativity. This is more like a practical little uh, addendum. Uh, this is um, concrete ideas for exercises and stuff to do to get creative. To you know, to to to, to get in that f good cre creative uh, state of mind. So we got five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Okay. So f first exercise is uh, set a timer. You know, limit the time that you're working. So you don't allow yourself to you know get caught in all sorts of <laughs> worries and troubles. Set it for maybe you know twenty minutes. Say to yourself that you're gonna write a small a small melody in those twenty minutes, and and do it. And d don't care. Uh, don't worry about the melody being good or not. Just fucking write the melody. And um, because the hardest part is getting started, so be quick to start. Uh, Another idea is to, to say to yourself that, that you're not going to use any of the stuff you're doing. Uh, that will free your mind from, from worrying about if it's good or not. And maybe actually do it. Say to yourself that in those 20 minutes, the, the melody you're going to write is not going to be used. You're going to write it, let's say you write it on paper. Throw it away afterwards. You know, teach yourself to not teach your brain and yourself not to be afraid of the outcome just teach yourself that it, you're allowed you you're allowed to throw it away you know that will that will you know that will make you much freer when you work and you can kind of fool yourself afterwards and pretend you're throwing it away throw pretend you're throwing it away and keep it you know but it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good trick i usually i'll i'll show you something if i go to if I go to the, the the disc I'm working on now, Animal Shining 2019 demos, okay, and I'm gonna search here for test because I have a trick. I always call the tracks I'm working on, especially vocal tracks. I call them, I call the tracks test. You know, te uh, verse test. Even though I know uh, the same goes for sex. If I play sax, I always call it test. So if I if I if I write test on the track, every now I'm just searching for the audio files. It just shows you how many audio files I've recorded on tracks that I've called test on the tracks. It just puts me in this kind of playful state of mind, even though I know that I'm going to use a lot of it when I record sax. I usually. I usually use a, a lot of the first takes, at least I use the kind of ideas from the first take because it, it's usually the right attitude and the right approach and I might polish, I might re-record parts but the initial instinctive approach, especially if I call it test and I you know get in this free kind of mindset that is the right thing. So let's see here, I got 1328 uh, test files. Let's see if I can kind. Let's see if I can find the uh, wave files. Peek, 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 peek. Here, audio files. So I got, here you can see, verse test one. And I got verse test, verse voc test, verse voc test, VMS test handheld, voc VOC AE 5400, that's a microphone. 453 test files. I'll, I'll show you another one. Online sax. Because I do, I do saxophone stuff for a lot of bands around the world uh, that, that send me a, uh, a mix or a song and I play sax on it. So if you need a saxophone part on your song, contact me. Go to jurgenmunkeby.com you can see a lot of um, examples that I've done, uh, and just send me an email, and I'll, I'll uh, and we'll figure figure something out. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can see how many files are called called test in that one. Test, test, test. Okay, so vocal test. <laughs> Check this out. 
reverse test. Here's a rever reverse reverb test. Higher love sax test from July. Uh, me, uh, this is a rough mix. SM7 fun tests as a vocal thing. And it ended up being used. So there you go. And trick number three. If you're not kind of in the writing cre creative zone in your mind, if you, if you feel that it's hard to, to come up with ideas, do this thing. Gradually step up. Gradually warm up your, your brain to become creative. Uh, start by writing, let's say, you know, four bar melody each day for three days. Just that little thing. It'll take you, let's say you, you limit yourself to 20 minutes. You do 20 minutes one day, 20 minutes the other day, 20 minutes the third day. I promise you that by that time your your brain will start be start getting into this kind of uh, uh, mood of coming up with ideas. And, and, and uh, when I do that, my brain starts coming up with more ideas than I'm actually comfortable with. I, you, I get it when I when I'm in the shower, I get when I'm on my bicycle to my studio. You know, the same will happen to you. You'll get it when you go to bed, when you wake up. You get it when you're at the movies, and you'll have this urge. I have to write down. I write down ideas on my phone. It, you know, if, if it's lyric ideas, I write it down on a little notepad I have here, or I have this on the front. Here's a shortcut to a record record thing, uh, a recording app. I like a dictaphone app, like I say. No, 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 no. If that was an idea, I recorded it. And I can label it, whatever it is, and then when I want to hear it. No, 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 You know. So that's, that's important to, to be able to quickly write down or record your ideas. Yeah, so. Um, you know, and I've I've had you know in in t in periods I have I've gone to bed, and I've had like I had to get up, in, you know, just within a couple of you know, like a half minute to to go to the bathroom to record an idea that just keeps churning in my head, and I know that I won't be able to fall asleep because I'm afraid of losing that idea, and I go to bed again, put down my phone, turn off the screen, plug in the <laughs> the power, and then Jesus, another idea, and I have to get up again. And I do that. I've done that like ten times, trying to not wake up the other people in in the in the house. So you know that's the that is uh, that's part of being a creative person. Um, but it's a matter of just getting your brain into that state of mind. So these are three tricks that I think you'll enjoy and think you'll that'll help you get that creative those creative juices flowing. Okay, hope it helps. See you around.